Hey guys, so I have here my rechargeable bike light, uh, which I have not used for a very long time, so over probably a year and a half. So unfortunately this has stopped working. It's not able to be charged anymore. You see here the USB, the micro USB charging port, and this stopped charging or working at all. So uh, what I did to check if it actually does charge, still I have here this USB charging device and it shows you how much current it's uh, pulling the charger, the device is pulling. So if I plug this into charge and you see here, uh, it doesn't show any, any change here in the numbers. So this means this battery or the batteries inside of this bike light are not charging anymore. So in this video, we want to take a look at how we can fix this uh, without replacing the battery. So actually reusing the batteries that are in here that are just not able to charge or initiate the charge at this point. And all we are going to use for this repair, or for this fix, is just a regular screwdriver. And then also I'm going to use here my charge station. So this allows us to charge the uh, 18650 battery pack that's in here. And so now first I'm going to pop off the back side of the uh, bike light. So I removed already the uh, small Phillips screws in there. And then I'm going to wiggle out here the plastic cover on the back side. And you have to be careful when you do this because um, there is a small, very small seal here between the that rubber cover and then the uh, the casing, the metal case. So when you pry, pry this out, make sure not to uh, cut that um, seal in, in two here. So you see this when you pop this off, here's this really small seal in there, a small rubber seal. Uh, just to make sure that this uh, bike light will stay um, waterproof after we done our repair here. Okay, now let's have a look at the inside of the uh, light. We see here this twin pack of the 18650 batteries has here the little connector. I actually uh, accidentally just pulled this right out. So uh, if you want to do a proper repair, then uh, you should first remove the top end of the battery uh, of the flashlight in order to disconnect to properly disconnect here the uh, battery pack. So we have to open up this end pretty much the same way that we opened up the other end too. I'm going to show you that later in the video. So now, but first now um, I'm going to try to recharge this battery pack. So you see these batteries here are soldered together in parallel. Uh, so that means when I'm going to use here my uh, my battery charger, I'm going to plug this in here. And this one allows me to actually adjust how many, with how many amps you're going to charge the battery that you insert. So I'm going to be really gentle with this battery in the first, first run here. I'm going to just do a quarter of an amp. And then since they, these batteries are connected or in, in parallel, I can just charge them together just like this here. And you of course have to make sure that you put it into the put the batteries into the charger on the right orientation. So the positive end in this case has to be upwards. That's the on the battery, that's the one that has this little uh, rim on the top end. That's the positive pole. So now the uh, battery is being charged. I'm going to put that on the side. This actually takes quite a long time. And now in the meantime, I'm going to pop off here the uh, top end, open up the top end of the bike light. So also here we have here we actually here we have two seals, two rubber seals. So we'll be sure that uh, the bike light here also on this end stays waterproof by not damaging those seals. And then in here we see, in this case here, three LEDs, and those are here soldered soldered onto this little metal board, which is also fastened with two more Phillips screws. Take those Phillips screws out, and then here we find the PCB, which is also uh, screwed in, of course. So we're going to take off those screws as well. And then that will give us access here to the uh, connector where we can, uh, we should initially disconnect the battery. And here we have, yeah, the charging controller, the USB ports. So yeah, this one comes with two USB ports, the micro USB to charge the batteries. And then the regular USB-A, we can actually charge other devices. So now my battery pack here is already charged at this point. I let it charge for a couple of hours and then we can plug this back in. Now you see already that the LEDs here, the status LEDs are lighting up and also the LEDs from the 
bike light themselves also light up. And then if we plug in the charging cable now into the uh, charge controller here, you see now back on my charging on my charger here, now we see here it's charging with 1.2 amps. So this uh, bike light has been fixed. The batteries are now accept accepting a charge again. You see this also here, the LEDs, the two LEDs are now illuminated in red, which means the uh, charging is in progress. And then they will turn green when the batteries are fully charged. And then when we push here the button, then you see also that the LEDs are lighting up. Actually, only two of three are lighting up. So one of them seems to be broken. Uh, turned out to be able to fix that by just pushing it down. So the soldering must be bad. So I just, I just squeezed them back onto the board here, the LED back onto the board, and that f happened to fix this problem. I have to uh, solder that back on the right way later on. And then, of course, yeah, we can put everything back together, make sure we are, don't damage the seals while we're pressing in the top and the bottom end. And now our bike light is working properly again. Yeah, so that was already it for this video. Hope you found the information helpful. If you have any more questions or comments, then please leave a message below.